Many of us are stuck at home. I will give you five tips, photo-related tips that you can do while you're at home. Hi there, Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus Vision Rider professional photographer. But let's start with number one. Learn image editing. If you're new to image editing, then Olympus Workspace might be a good software to start with. It's free. If you have an Olympus camera, only thing you need is your serial number from your camera and download the software and start using it. There are lots and lots of tutorials online about Olympus Workspace and how to use it. And I also have a uh, small tutorial about image editing that I did. You can watch it here or is it there? Most likely there. Image editing is a big part of digital photography. And as I said in that tutorial that I just uh, showed the link to you, is that every image should be edited. And that's an essential skill that you need to have. So why not start doing that while you're stuck at home if you haven't done it before? And if you're more experienced with image editing, look for tutorials for your uh, software that you use and learn some tips and tricks. That will improve your photography. And number two, check out that all your gear has the latest firmware. You probably know that also lenses have firmware. And uh, with the Olympus workspace, you can check that also if everything is up, uh, up to date with your firmware in your different gear. And remember that you can also check your firmwares uh, for other lenses than Olympus M. Zuiko lenses. If you have Panasonic lenses, you can check the firmware for those lenses too. The easiest way is, as I said, to use Olympus Workspace. And there are plenty of videos online also about upgrading your firmware. And there's a link to the video that I've made about it. It is quite important to have the latest firmware in all your gear because that's the way to have all the latest features in your camera. Some of the upgrades are just uh, bug fixes and uh, some comp comp compatibility issues if there are some in the lenses they might fix those but there are some big big improvements also in firmwares from olympus so it's it's an important thing to have the latest firmware then everything works just fine register your olympus gear every area has its own website where to register and you can most likely find it from your local olympus website the benefit of this there's actually two things First thing is that when you register your gear, you might get an extra warranty for it. This varies from place to place and from gear to gear. So register them and check out if you can get some extra warranty for your gear. And the second thing is that it's a good place to store your information about your lenses because you have to add the serial number of the lens when you're registering your gear, of course. And that's a good thing if something gets missing, your gear gets stolen, you will have the serial numbers for your for insurance right there in Olympus website. And tip number four, while you're at the Olympus website, there are lots and lots of stuff to learn from. Every bigger Olympus area and their site like Get Olympus or My Olympus in Europe, and I think there's AsiaOlympus.com, but I will put all the links to those websites in the description of this video. There are pages for learning and there are pages for visionaries, ambassadors and uh, Olympus uh, educators. And they have lots of images there also. So go check that and, and see if you get inspired by the Olympus visionaries, ambassadors and the educators. There are lots and lots of good images to learn from and to get inspired. And before we get into the fifth one, there will be a bonus tip. So there will be six tips. Stay tuned, so don't go away after number five. And number five, download the manual for your camera. Reading the manual is actually a really good thing. It's uh, something that most of us don't do, but there are lots and lots of features in Olympus cameras that can be learned from the manual. And there are good explanations also. And I have been using since 2014 Olympus cameras, and I still learn every day something new about my camera. It, there is vast amount of possibilities to learn from, from the manual. And it's also good if you can get it as a PDF, you can have it stored in your phone. And it, when you're out shooting, when it's possible again in the future, then you can check 
the settings and things from the manual while you're photographing. So downloading the PDF to your computer, to your iPad, to your tablet, to your computer is a wise thing. Number six, make a photo book. Now it might be a good time to go back to your images and see and pick the best ones and make a photo book out of it. And if you're really organized and you can find your images from year to year, then make a photo book for every year. It's actually a very good memory also, so you could make a couple of them and send them to your to your uh, family or or relatives or whatever. And, and you can also make, if you don't want to make it year by year, you can make it from a theme. You've done some landscapes, you've done some trips, you might have done some uh, portraits or whatever you have. You have po endless of possibilities for different themes, years, happenings, uh, venues, or whatever the topic is. My advice is try to use your local camera dealer if they provide the service. They might even have an online service so you don't have to go anywhere. You can make the book online, you can order it online and then they send it to you. But I would use the local camera dealer just because they are struggling like every business right now because everybody's stuck at home. So try to use your local camera dealer for that. There's also another good thing when you look at your images is that uh, you can always improve. You can look at those images and, and critique them yourself and give some criticism to the images and see what could have been done better. That's also another way to learn. But hey, stay safe and thanks for watching and bye for now.